You wouldn't be able to do this. That's a problem. No, it's not. Can you take off your shirt without doing that? Don't try it. Welcome back to Nature League. It's the fourth week of the month, and that means it's time for our segment from A to B. And as you can see, we have something a little bit special planned. This month has been all about evolution and speciation, so things changing over time. And Adrian and I have decided to go back and forth and kind of make up our own version of humans in the future as if after many, many years of evolution, we might have certain traits and features not there anymore and certain ones maybe appear. And we're literally just gonna go back and forth and see what happens and enjoy ourselves along the way thinking about how some of these might be adaptive or uh, terrible. I'm gonna be in red and Brit's gonna be in blue. Just gonna start with the eyes. It's gonna be great for daytime, not depth because in the future we're gonna have screens in front of our faces all the time. Okay. So a creature that can stare at something really, really close a lot without hurting its eyes. Do you wanna be able to let in more light if we're imagining being with screens? In which case you'd wanna have the retina, so the iris and the space inside, be able to be way wider. If it's a matter- Nailed it, stop talking, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the humans of the future are just gonna be like- no, 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 no. Lemons for eyes! So typically you see larger eyes and things that are nocturnal, again, because they're wanting to let in more light. So I guess we're saying that screens, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll basically consider screens to be a type of nocturnal adaptation. Yes! Okay, let's go to the nose. In the future, there is going to be giant like uh, Wally sized piles of garbage just everywhere because we're not taking care of the planet very well. I think that it might actually behoove us to have less good noses. So you just think that the stench of Earth will be so much We'll that... just be so awful that we're gonna wish we smelled less. Well, I'd say in terms of the evolution of a nose, yeah, we, I mean, we just don't rely on them yeah, that much. And don't. then also garbage. So would we say like no nose? Or are we talking like Voldemort? What's Yeah, <laughs> little Voldemort. What are we gonna do with our mouths in the future? Wisdom teeth have to go because we just haven't had enough time and there has not been enough pressure for us to lose these things. Sometimes they can be harmful, sometimes... Why are you still doing that right now? My wisdom teeth fit perfectly in my mouth. I'm sorry, I'm just saying that I'm more evolved than you are. <laughs> that is not what that means at all. So, I don't really know how to graphically represent that. Just draw a mouth with only 32 teeth. I'm not gonna draw that many teeth on here. It will look terrifying. <laughs> Let's just kind of do a, a cartoon version and then there's X's maybe. <laughs> Does that... <laughs> Terrible. I don't think that Terrible can... and I hate it. We haven't hit ears. Do you have... Is there yes. Any... We're going straight to robot ears. What? What, what does that even mean? <laughs> No, stop. <laughs> stop, stop. Stop, stop it. Okay, robot ears, because with uh, techno music and the young kids these days, no. and you know, do you like robot music? No, you would if you had robot ears. With evolution, there has to be, there, it, we see reasons for adaptations persisting over time. So for something that extreme to happen, what do you see causing that evolutionary change? You're right, we're abandoning robot <laughs> ears. You don't have to. No, no, no. We're abandoning, okay, you know what? Everybody will have one, one robot ear <laughs> and just, uh, you know, just- Keep that one Just a perfectly as normal is. human ear. Okay. Okay, so sh either shoulders okay. or uh, pecs. Boobs are really inconvenient. They just are. And the thing is, you're only using them for a very small uh, amount of time in your life, if at all. Mm -hmm. And it's a whole lot of flesh to take care of, back problems. Right. I, you know, playing pool got very complicated and I used to really like that game and that's just unfortunate. I, they gotta go. Okay. They gotta go. So, I mean, we are mammals and so there's, we still need to be able to... F <gasps> <gasps> Dolphin nipples. Dolphin nipple slits. I may or may not have mentioned to Adrian along the course of friendship that dolphins have nipple slits that the, the, the nipple is actually inside because again, swimming, that's the aerodynamic form. They have them actually like inverted and then they just have slits. So actually I'm I'm pretty much fine with that. There's it's just kind of a longer slit. Those are <laughs> all you all you've drawn are slits. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is slits. Do you have anything for neck shoulder kind of stuff? Uh yes, tech neck is a thing. Everybody like this. I myself am a big sufferer, you know. 
my posture is awful. I'm so sad. what we're going to do is we're going to create something that I'm going to call the T-bone <laughs> TM. No, what? And it's going to be it's going to be in our spine. It's going to be a bone and it's going to start here and then it's going to branch out like this <laughs> and protrude slightly <laughs> on either side and it will uh, those are little bones. Little bones, uh, and it's going to keep us. Uh, it's going to keep our posture nice and straight, and it's going to be perfect. And it'll incorporate to the rest of our spine. See, that's the spine bones, and you have literally just drawn the cervical vertebra and clavicles. What is different about? This? No, it's one solid piece in the center that just goes and it protrudes out the whole thing, so you can't even pull on it. You also can't go like this. Look at what I'm doing right now. You, you wouldn't be able to do these. this anymore. That's a that's you a would, problem. You wouldn't be able to do this. That's a problem. No, it's not. Can you take off your shirt without doing that? You know what? It's gonna have a spring connected behind, and that sp that coil will constantly be pulling you back. So you can pull it forward, but then it'll snap right back and your posture will be perfect. I'm going to leave it alone. I think it's an aesthetic choice. Well, evolution typically <laughs> is not an aesthetic situation. Say that to all the pretty birds in the world. Go next. So let's hit things that things that are definitely under selection are things having to do with reproduction because that is a big time part of being life on Earth. Okay. So a lot of different pieces of us have to do with uh, reproducing, surviving, thriving, all that good stuff. A lot goes into humans and, and childbirth. We have babies so early on, like when they're, they're basically hardly even developed at all because of the birth canal and hips and the actual sh infrastructure of women and how big heads are because of how big our brains are. And so we actually have a lot, our children premature because that's the only way it works. You're suggesting we have a it's marsupial pouch. No, no, no. Yes. No, that's literally the same thing. Marsupial pouch. You just drew a uterus on the outside. It doesn't get rid of the issue. No, so what it does well, is okay. now, so it's no gonna, birth. so the baby's gonna climb out on its own. <laughs> And it's gonna use its freakishly strong little fetus arms. You get to draw the little baby fetus climbing up into the into the pouch. It's gonna use its freakishly strong little fetus arms to climb up and attach itself to <laughs> keeping the adaptations on. You're right. The nipples should be in the pouch, but so there's more nipples in the pouch. <laughs> yes, thank you. That's how we reproduce now. Great. And it's just gonna hang out there till it's like uh, two. It's just gonna come on out and yeah. it's just gonna start walking well, that also, and learning how to talk. You may say what you wish about external genitalia. I've completely locked Scrapped boobs it. off, so. Straw cloaca. We're just gonna streamline the whole thing <laughs> and we're just gonna have cloacas from now on. One hole does it all. I'm just gonna write the word cloaca. <laughs> <laughs> Our knees are so bad yes. because of this whole like walking on two feet thing, which is bipedal and everybody's always wrecking their knees. So like steel reinforced the, I don't even know. I'm just gonna draw slits again because that seems no, to be No, that's boring. Okay, well, uh, draw a pad. It, you, you, oh, and like a knee pad? Yeah. That's yeah. already, that's our, that's the patella is the knee pad. So I just need to make it clear that these are steel reinforced. So this kind of structuring is happening somewhere inside the knee. We just need a little bit more. I feel like our hands could be a little bit better as well. I feel like we just don't have enough fingers as is. No, that it's not. Why, don't what have are plenty, you not? We don't have enough fingers. And also arthritis in our hands, what a sad thing. So what do we do? We get rid of our phalanges. Very good. And we put in mm -mm. just little like mm. uh, finger worms. This is what our, our... How does that help anything? It, cause, cause now there's no bones to hurt. Ow, ooh, ouch, my bones. But you can't... So if you drink bone hurting juice, you, uh, you, there's no longer a thing. So, uh, we control them and, uh, I, you know, I think, and also there's one over there. Having hand dexterity though, being able to do really, really baby little motions are yeah, one of the... you can do that. Boop, 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 boop. Not without bones. You do feet. Do something big and dramatic. Why? I swear if you just draw feet slits. <laughs> it's not feet that I find to be a problem. It's lower back issues, which... Okay, so fix the lower back. Okay, well that comes more from needing support. So, so again, being bipedal, we kind of quite... We're not quite there yet. 
uh, in terms of it being a perfect design. So a lot of people have lower back issues because again, having being on two legs and figuring it out, right? So that, uh, I don't know, we could add something. Pillows to our feet. Our feet will just be super fatty and they'll just have all this fatty tissue. But that and we'll just bleep, bleep, But having bleep, bleep. support like feet or inserts, like inserts into shoes, that doesn't actually help the fact that the actual lower back itself. So draw you another. You can add a third leg. Yeah, third leg. Oh, I love it. Tripod it. Except you know what? Nature doesn't work that way, Brit. Add a fourth leg so that we're. Uh, it's not radial symmetry. It's, it's bilateral <laughs> symmetry. Yeah. Yeah, you add that fourth leg. I'm so proud. Get that fourth leg. <laughs> Get that fourth leg. You know what? And just for one last little thing. Wait, you were the one that put a one-sided. One, <laughs> one single hair. Okay. We don't need hair anymore. I it's still the thing of the future. How are you going to text? <laughs> Man, keyboards are going to be crazy in like Ugh. 10,000 years. The point is, all the really crazy adaptations we see on Earth happen because life is constantly evolving. It's changing. It's fitting its environment in all kinds of ways that are amazing. Who knows what humans will look like after a long time. Thank you for joining us on this totally absurd but definitely fun and informative uh, adventure that is from A to B here on Nature League. Make sure to come back next week. We're going to have our next episode of Nature Plus. We'll see you there. <laughs> <laughs>